Hey, welcome to another episode. Last episode, we uh, spawned into the world and explored around, and we found this location. It's kind of hard to see from where we're sitting, but it's like a little valley with giant mountains surrounding it. And this is the house, temporary house that we built, receded into the mountain. Uh, I did some off-camera stuff. Oh, that has nothing. Got mob loot, some flowers. Those are all empty. Sorted out all of our wood. Got more cobble and diorite. Uh, we did find a uh, pirate ship, and we followed the treasure. And uh, half of the stuff in here was from that. Uh, the coal, this, and this. So these were all. There was a little bit of iron from it, but most of the stuff in the top row was from that treasure chest. Sorted out, we got a, a farm chest, farm and food, and then this will be like our tools. And we did manage to yoink a brewing stand from one of the villages that we. Uh, ran across. I'll go ahead and show you guys what all we've uncovered. When you have 32 uh, chunk render distance, it tends to uh, uncover a lot. There sh should be a lot more over here. Oh wait, no I didn't explore the desert area. So I found some flower forests. Uh, I ended up finding four villages right by each other. I did not explore them though. I did pass through a couple of them. I think I passed through this one when I was trying to get home. I had a full inventory so I was not committing to anything. Uh, there was another village down here. Didn't have a chance to explore it. Same reason. Full inventory. And there is a water temple here. Uh, we will eventually be exploring that. Probably after we get diamond gear. Uh, just for safety. And definitely going to want to have a lot of milk buckets when we deal with the uh, elders. But we were not able to find a cherry blossom biome. That is what I really want to be able to work on the... I don't know why that loaded there. Work on the next project. Well, the first project. So... I guess today will be a little bit more exploring in hopes of finding that. Well, I guess we'll go east today. I'm trying to get everything within about 2,000 blocks of home. That way, uh, you know, we get good coverage. But let's go ahead and uh, we should get a little bit more food than that. I think that'll be fun. Um, how about we do this first? I think that'd be the smart idea. Okay, let's go. Yes, hello sheep. I'm hoping that I don't have to travel far to find a cherry blossom and literally I just need a few saplings like I don't even have to get a lot of wood whenever I find it I just need the saplings I can farm them off camera so you guys don't have to watch the painstaking grind or like a time lapse Oh, and uh, we made ourselves an iron chest and lay, and we found these leather boots uh, at one of the villages in the blacksmith. I think it was the blacksmith. 
But yeah, now we can run around and we can contest most monsters. I say that, but I had pillagers that came and were like invading the the house before I logged off the last time. And uh, I just cowardly fought them inside of the house with a lava bucket. I placed it right outside the door and they just kind of cooked themselves. You guys have like nothing in your village. It's disappointing. What do you have? Nothing I want. I don't even want to steal your brain stand. I don't need it. I have one. That's... Okay. We continue. Looks like we got a giant ocean on our hands. Um, let's see. Is this... Yes. Okay, I can just follow this channel. Oh, I can't eat and row at the same time. Okay, there we go. We got all kinds of jungles relatively close to the, the homeland. Eventually I'd like to get start getting pets. Have some horses, get some uh, parrots. Oh, okay, we got a lot of work to do. And I'm happy that you guys get to come along for the journey. Maybe I'll uh, name uh, some pets after you guys. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how everything goes. We'll figure out something. like some form of an island up ahead. This is a small island, just a small sand island. Nothing special. So I just want to say this is like the largest warm ocean I've ever seen. I mean look at the size of this. I mean we're like set in regard to like coral and all that. Maybe we'll make some type of Big fish tank. Let me know what you guys think. Another one? Another Mesa biome. I don't even know if I want to just keep going east or if I want to cut north once I hit land. We are literally... Yeah, we are literally almost 3,000 blocks away from home. To the east. This is a massive ocean. Ooh! You know what? That's where we're gonna go for right now. It's not what we're looking for. Oh, and look at this. If there's crying obsidian, we won't be able to get it. But it's not a big deal. There wasn't any anyway. That's fine. Uh, let's fill her up. Uh, we will take the obsidian. We'll take the golden apple. Uh, that will be useful. Um, I can't remember. Can I? I don't. I know a gold pick can't mine diamonds, so I can only use it for coal and nether quartz. That's fine. I'll just use it on coal. That's fine. It's not a complete waste. I'll make use of it at some point while I'm out and about. It's definitely better than using my stone pick. Or stone pick. But I look what I just called it. It's an iron pick. Maybe if I use all of my brain cells, I'll be able to call things by the correct name. Help me summon the power of all of my brain cells so that I can call things by the correct name. Oh, speaking of brain cells, if I use them all, I had realized that this is the entrance. Ugh, 
I remember the old days of Minecraft. If you placed a bed down and there wasn't lights, a zombie would spawn next to your bed. We're just gonna leave that there. Now, we have experience. Once, a long, long time ago. I think it was in, uh... Our Xbox. I think I died. One of these, an accident. Didn't know. Blew my eyeballs uh, straight out. Gold horse armor, that'll come in useful. Don't know that I want to keep the bones. Keep the gunpowder. If there's enough bones, I'll keep them. Saddle, yep. Aqua affinity, that'll be useful. Let's put all the bones in inventory and see how many we have. I mean, we don't have uh, reasonable means to get bones right now. I kind of want to leave my bed here considering how far away this is. But there's not a guarantee that I'll find sheep relatively fast. I could find sheep if I go south, but there's not a guarantee if I go north. But if I'm also clutch with the bed, in a tight situation, I could potentially place it down and spawn. I'll just keep it in my hot bar. Oh, there's a village. That means there's beds. So we'll set our spawn at one of the beds. That way, if we die, we have uh, at least that as a safety net. I feel like I'm more likely to die to fall damage than I am to die from mobs at this point. I am my own enemy. all that wheat. Alright, so respawn point is set, so we will respawn there if we die. Let's steal their hay. I don't even use it anyway. That kind of rhymes. You don't say there, bud. That is not hay. There's more up here. What is that? Is that mangrove? Everybody go home. Is that mangrove? Yeah. I don't think we really need any right now. It's also like this is the roots. Wait, can I... Can I not collect it from that? Do I have to use an axe on it? Wait! The wood is red. Oh, I change this thing a little bit. I use. Okay, so I have to use. Can I get like three? I think three will be enough. I, I don't know. Places. There's another one over there. Oh wait, we have a boat. I was just about to swim all that. We'll land over here. Oh, there's a lot of villagers here. stealing the books because we've got a lot of leather and we got a lot of paper stuff at home. Let's update our spawn point. Let's so we'll steal more thing. Yeah, there's 
probably gonna be a meme here. Hay stealing uh, simulator. his crops, bro. Uh-oh. Let's, uh, do this. Uh, that bed is occupied. Oh, there's a chest. Ooh, a single emerald. Look at all that cactus. Um, let's see. This bed is occupied. You can use it. To oh, oh, crafting table. So we'll make six bread and we'll abandon the rest of the wheat. Because there's no point. I'm not going to keep the roots. I'm going to throw away the sticks. I'm going to keep going. I don't think there's really... I'll double check the village. I didn't check these ones. I'm pretty sure there's like nothing else like super special here. Ooh, this is cool. Glad I stopped here. I'm not gonna keep the redstone. There's literally three. It's not worth taking up space. And the brewing stand isn't worth keeping. I've got one as a base. And there's other villages that I can take it from. How many episodes is it gonna take me to find Cherry Blossom? did end up finding another village. I traveled a lot, went through all of the desert, went through the jungle, and now I'm looping back down towards this uh, village. I think it's on the hill. Well, hello. Welcoming party down there. Yeah, it's up on the hill. Hello, Farmer Joe. Let's see what we got. Uh, I'll take a little bit more, but I don't want to take up more than two inventory slots. Gotta leave room for other findings. Definitely set on bread for a while. Let's see, where am I at? 44. I can take another pile. Let's see this first. Um, okay, you're unemployed. I get it. I'm taking your, your hay. Get a job. I think I made him depressed. What do you have? Oh. Well, he, he just took a swig of something. Three more. I'm not taking any more wheat. I don't want to take up inventory spots. This town's bougie. It's got two... Two bells. Or maybe it's two towns that just formed into one. Oh, look, another village. This map thing helps so much. 
I know that it helps uncover a lot of stuff that we otherwise wouldn't be able to see. I know it takes away a little bit of the exploring part, but it just makes it like so much nicer because it would take so much longer to find things without it. I'm not even going to go over to those villages right now. Like, I don't really need any of this stuff there. You didn't see anything. I am literally 4,000 blocks away from home right now. One of these days, we will find it. I have a feeling that maybe I should have went north, but we'll find out. I will pass through this village. Ooh, eventually we're gonna get a cat. We already have a cat. Well, three cats in real life. We're gonna get some cats in game. Oh, we love to see it. Saddle. Alright, someone's getting kicked out of their bed. trying to find a cherry blossom biome but we still haven't found one yet guys still haven't found one been looking for several gameplay hours this is really nice i mean look at that this is really like steep bank to get down to that river look at that Oh, there's a village up there. Let's go. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Uh, huh? well, let's go all the way up here. I want to see this. Oh, it goes higher? Okay, we'll go up even higher. Wow. Let's go all the way over here. Look at this, guys. It's nice. And usually not much for savanna biomes, but this would definitely be a cool place to build something. Oh, wow. Wow. There's a, a forest over there. Cool. So far from home with the sun going down there, buddy. Everybody go home. Uh, but, nice! Gotta love Minecraft world generation. More hay bales that I would love to have but can't take. Well, hello! All right, let's tussle. No. How did it not blow up the bones? I'm not gonna question it, I'll just take it. All right, let's check these. Whoa, that's new, I haven't seen that. What is this supposed to be, like a church? I guess it's technically the church because it's got the brewing stand. I don't know, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you think this is like supposed to be like a church, so I'm curious. I mean, it's got the brewing stand. We'll just keep heading south, I guess. Didn't want to keep going too far east. I didn't want to be too terribly far from home. I mean, granted, me going south is gonna still have me going far from home anyway. Uh, water bucket clutch. Oh, look at that. I'm not going to do really far ones. I really don't want to lose my 20 levels. Because we're going to be trying to do enchants at some point. I'd rather not die. Do I still have a boat? Oh, that's right. I abandoned it back there. 
Oh, it's fine. We'll just make another one. That's what we got the mangrove for. Mangrove boat. Put this in there. Just sailing off into the distance with one mission to try and find the cherry blossom biome. Will he ever find it? Stay tuned. Just kidding. No, we're, we're still keeping on going. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be crossing any more bodies of water, so we are going to be taking the boat with us. I wanted to throw it away if needed. We honestly need to hold on to it for the journey back. I'm about to throw away something else. I do not want to swim that far back home at all. We'll go this way. Yeah. A little bit of parkour. Beginner level. Let's see what's in these two houses. Absolutely nothing. Oh, we got the librarian. Oh, we are totally stealing all of your stuff. That's mine. That's also mine. Why am I not using the axe? Right, let's check upstairs. Is there more up there? No. Of course there isn't. So we got 12 books. I don't even know why I took the books. We've got a butt ton of uh, sugar cane back at the base. I'll hold on to them, but I'll throw them away if something more valuable pops up. Let's see. All right, I guess we'll just keep going. That is nice. Look at that, guys. If I would have found this first, I probably would have settled here. You got like a nice. Let's actually look at this. Okay, that's all that's generated. You got like a nice peninsula that comes up and it wraps around. Let's see. This is just a forest. We got this right here. Like this would be cool. Like this big raised area. You got a little miniature. It's not technically an island, but with the river biome, it would technically be one. You got just a whole jungle island. That's cool. And another one. Like, this would be a really cool area to build. But we've already chose where we're going to start at. We could always expand to... There's a skeleton. He's right there! Get him! Uh, I don't want a hug. I don't want any... No. I will take your gunpowder. Yeah. Ooh, you gave me two. It's up to 16 now. Let's go. And as we run into the distance, we hope that we run into the biome soon. I mean, look at that. We're it's about 6,000 on the... I think that's the x-axis. Yeah. We're 6,000 blocks away from home on just the x-axis. And we're almost 2,000 on the z. So we're, we're quite a bit of a distance away from home. This is a giant savanna biome. More big mountains. I'm honestly a fan of the whole like caves and cliffs update. I haven't really played Minecraft a lot. Like, vanilla Minecraft, I should say. Since, like, 118. Or something like that. Yeah, I haven't really played it much since since then. So, a lot of these updates are still kind of new. So, we're just kind of, like, running into some of this stuff together. Like, I've never even used bees. So, I'd like to set up a bee farm. Uh, I think it's an apiary. I'd like to set up all that with you guys. And a lot of these other newer things that I haven't really, like, messed with.
It's just gonna be such a good experience. Just playing the game like how it's supposed to be intended, not trying to speed run it. It's all about the journey. You're not gonna believe it, guys, but we found another ocean. Well, looks like we have no choice but to cross it. Wonder what we'll find on the other side of this one. It'll be something pretty. It'll be a disappointment. We'll find out. Looks like it's a forest biome with a... Like a plains? A very high up plains at that. We're gonna have fun getting up to the top of that. I think we'll, we'll aim for over here. Have a little bit easier time getting up. Just in time for sunrise. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Maybe I should uh, look at getting a mod where uh, you can see like different stars and stuff. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the, the comments. You know, having something that modifies the sky. Let me know if you think we should add something like that. I think it would add a little bit of atmosphere. Especially whenever we, like, don't skip the night. Like, that'd be really nice. Well, hello, B. I played on, uh... Let's see, what was it called? I think it was the Mod Pack Manufactio. And it had the Northern Lights or Aurora Borealis, however you want to call it. And uh, it was really cool. It just light up the sky. It was really nice. I have no idea what mod that's called, but it'd probably be cool to have added to this, uh, assuming that it's uh, compatible with this version. Because this is a. Uh, I think it's 120.2 or maybe it's dot four no it's dot four yeah 120.4 this is a big plains biome but we never even like went up towards the top we just kind of just started running like south wow guys look at this and there's a village Oh, this is definitely going to be a point of interest. Like, look at this. Could totally put, like, some type of an outpost or something out here. Although, as far away as it is from the main area, it probably wouldn't be very, uh, feasible. Not feasible, but it wouldn't be very efficient running a minecart or... anything like that. Or even horse. Like... Like 10,000 blocks, I'd probably have to use, like, something for the nether. I mean, we're, not, we're also not trying to be, like, super efficient, but we're also not trying to take 10 years to get somewhere. Oh my god. Guys, there it is! It's what we've been looking for! We finally found it! Let's go! Man! We've been searching for that forever. I mean, look at this. Like, see, there it is. Oh, there, oh, there's two parts of it. And there's like snow right there. And there's a village and a ruined portal. Heck yeah. Okay, so now let, let's show like where all we've went. Like we literally started at home. And we obviously like uncovered the desert already. But then we decided to expand. And I decided I just wanted to start going south. And more and more south and we finally found it guys let's go now we just need to take home some saplings I'm not really worried about loading up on wood obviously I'm kind of full on my inventory so we got to really manage our inventory slots uh, gotta really choose what we're gonna throw away because we're full
Now that's a ravine. This will be a really cool place to have like a bridge or something like that. Full send. Let's go. Dude, I'm so pumped right now. Took us so long to find this. Come on. Man, I'm loving this deep river ravine. Reminds me of like, what's it called? It's in Colorado. Uh, something gorge. Uh, the Colorado cuts to it. The Colorado, Colorado River. But it reminds me of that. Could also be the Grand Canyon, but it, this isn't as grand. That's why I thought of the gorge. I, for the life of me, I can't remember what it's called. Man, it's not important. I mean, one of you guys will probably comment it in, in the comments. So I'm not that worried about it. I could easily just look it up on Google Maps, but I'm not that worried. Start going to town. I'll probably keep a stack of the wood just so that I already have, like, something to start with. I'm so happy, though. Go. Okay, are they going to start breaking? Uh, that is my sword. A sword is not going to cut down a tree. At least... Not very efficiently at all. Whoa! Did I miss any wood? No? Okay, okay, it's just thick. With two C's. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, are you serious? Up we go. There's more. I'm thinking that two trees might be enough to get to the saplings. I know that these guys have like a high sapling output. Look at that, we're, we're already at four, five. We're at 15, 16, uh, 18, 19, 19. see, is there any more? Ooh, 20, and I think, think we're good. All right, let's go to that village to set a spawn point because we are really far from home. All right, what do we got? Oh, we got the librarian. I'm glad we kept the books because now we can get more. Cool. Let's see, does he have anything up here? Nope, of course. All right. Objective one, find a bed. Objective complete. All right, get out of the bed. My turn. I am not sorry, bud. There you go. Resume business as usual. Okay. Let's go home. So, where's the H? We are 8,437 blocks away from home, guys. That's going to take us a little while to get home. But, let's head that way. We'll probably come back here eventually. Look at all the alums. Yeah. This will definitely be nice if I need alums. There's just... Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a meadow. Yeah, this is definitely going to come in handy if I need alums. Like, for decoration. Like, I do like these flowers. They're one of my more favorite ones. Look, guys, we found yet another water temple. That makes three that we found on our world. Let's go ahead and save this real quick. And continue on. We've made quite a bit of progress towards getting home. About 6,000 left. So we've made about 2,500 progress. Just keep going! We're finally less than 2,000 blocks away from home. It's been quite a journey. 
We still got a little ways to go, but. Ooh. That's nice. Still got a little ways to go, but we're more than halfway. About two thirds of the way there. That's really nice. I'll have to come back for that. Just about home. Just following the top of this mountain right here. We're home. What a journey it was. We're finally home. eat the rest. We're finally home. We got everything that we wanted. Well, so far. We still have other stuff we need to collect. Oh. Something important I need to do. Now we're home. All right, guys, so I went ahead and planted some of the uh, cherry blossom saplings, and we've already got some growing, which is good. We're going to have to collect a lot of those for what we're planning to build, and I know it was quite a journey to go after and get the cherry blossom saplings, but we still need more materials, so I'll be doing some off-camera farming of... Uh, kind of more common materials uh, but we also uh, we're going to be going into the nether next episode there's some things that we need specifically from the nether uh, that we need to get for the build uh, I'll let you guys find out what that is in the next episode I'm not going to spoil it too much but yeah we will be going to the nether uh, next episode and Dealing with all the hostile mobs there, trying to get, you know, all the goodies that's within the biome. But yeah, and I'm not sure if you noticed uh, the mic change about halfway through the video. I ended up switching to my studio mic, and I didn't realize how much different the quality is. So this is what we're going to be using from this point on. This just sounds so much better. But... Yeah, if you liked the video, uh, hit that like button, subscribe, uh, leave a comment about like your favorite part of the video, or about another thing you'd like to see in a different video, and take care, and see you next time.